Hi everyone, today I'm going to be doing my last tour of 2013 which is really weird because I think that this year has absolutely flown by. So to make it a little bit different I thought I'd show you around the whole room that Rosie stays in which is also known as a conservatory by the way. I have decorated a little bit, I haven't really clogged it that full of things because there's not that much room to be honest with you but I've also put some Christmassy things inside Rosie's cage as well. So I thought it would be a nice idea to show you around as I know that people have always been interested in seeing like the whole room. So I'll get started by showing you around the conservatory first. So this is just the room that Rosie stays in. Like I said it's not too big so I haven't really clogged it full of decorations or anything but she has full access to run around of course she has down here as well. Uh, I sometimes put some tunnels and tents out down there but she kind of just has fun hopping around instead. She doesn't really play out with toys when she's out here. Now like I say in all my cage tours she, this cage is only left closed during the video so that you actually get to see some footage of her because if it wasn't closed she'd be under this chairs and everything so I just leave her in here for the time being whilst I'm filming a video. So I'll quickly show you some decorations. So this is just on the door. It's a little hanging bear singing some carols and then also on the windows we have these little bears Christmas stickers we always have these on the window we've got this let it snow snowman wreath and then we've got more window stickers as well and there and then there's also someone there as well we also have a TV in here and a lamp of course the TV <laughs> isn't for Rosie. <laughs> and then we have a radiator which is used during the winter because in the summer it gets really hot in the conservatory. And then that is about it. So that is just a little room tour for you all. We also have some supplies down here. We've just got some spare toys down here, some treats. A rug is behind the sofa because Rosie likes chewing it so we have to hide it from her. She's got her veggie bowl, her burgess nuggets, and then there's just some healthy herbs and things down there, and then there's also some tinsel. And then this little homemade snowflake thing that doesn't look like a snowflake, but yeah. So that's just the little bits and bobs down there. Okay, so now we'll move on to the cage. I'll just give you a little bit more information about the cage itself, and then I'll show you what's inside. So the cage is only ever closed, of course, at night and when I'm filming a video so that she's in the footage. So yeah, like I said, there's some Christmassy things in there. I've also had to make a little bit of a change to Rosie's toilet area, you might see that. Uh, but other than that, it's just the same really with some Christmassy stuff inside. So let's have a look. Now you might have noticed this card. This card is again from Furry Friends, but it was addressed to Rosie and it just says, to Rosie from Coco Thumper buttons and muffin. So that was really sweet I thought so I put that on the outside of her cage. Okay so I'll show you around this area first that Rosie's just sitting on. She wants to come out as you can see. So she's only got a few bits and bobs in here. This is just a little Christmas chew from the Pets at Home Christmas selection that we got last year. It's just um, a carrot. I forgot what it was called then. And then Fairy Friends sent us these little wood cheese yesterday. Looks like they are... I don't know what they are. You can get like different wood cheese so I'm not sure but she really likes this one. And then she still of course has her little daisy chain chew, her flower mirror and her hay ball. Her hay ball just has some Burgess XL dandelion and marigold herbage inside so I just stocked that up for and she really likes it. Oh, she loves that stuff. <laughs> Do you like that, Rosie? Okay, so while Rosie's just eating her hay, I think we'll move on down to this section. So, I did actually clean it out yesterday. You probably can't tell because Rosie's gone and mucked it all up. Uh, but I did clean it out yesterday. I gave it a really good wash down and I put some fresh hay inside. So there aren't that many Christmassy stuff in here. I have actually got a little DIY thing that I made. Actually, I've got two things that I made which are Christmas themed. So I'll show you some of them. Okay, so as you can see, we're still on straw. This is the Pets at Home straw and it's really, really good. So I like it a lot. So here's just the first DIY toy that we have and it is this 
Christmas cracker that I made and I've got a video on how to make these by the way and there's just some treats inside and she really likes it she's been tearing it up as you can see so I recommend them they're really really good okay so for these toys they aren't Christmas themed but the first one that we have is this large bull rush ball from pets at home and you can get different sizes of these by the way so you can get hamster sizes but this is the rabbit size we have this green loofah chew from the little selection in the woodlands range again I've put Rosie's tug and gnaw back in she used to just kind of ignore this but she's been chewing the little blocks a little bit which is really good so I've popped that back in the cage of her to chew She's also got the solar stick, which has been in a few of my videos before, which has really been chewed down, so she loves that. And then she's just got this, which is the Woodlands Stick Ball, and you can buy that from Pets at Home, of course. This is one of the little DIY toys that I made. It's just a little Christmassy, winter-themed kebab that I made. And just attached it with this little hook as well. It's quite stiff at the minute, but... It works. Okay, so Rosie's actually been quite a bad bunny lately. She's been throwing her litter tray around and basically she's just been getting really annoyed because she had a corner litter tray and half of the tray kind of covered her hay rack, which is just to the left of the pink litter tray. And she was just throwing it around everywhere, trying to just, you know, trying to get to a hay rack. And we were getting kind of annoyed because the litter was going all over the carpet. So we popped in this litter tray and it's been working really well as you can I'm see. I'm really sorry that you're having to look at Rosie's bum by the way. So she just has some more base cat litter inside and there's just a little bit of straw that's uh, been kicked in from the bedding that we have. So yeah, it doesn't matter though. So then of course she has her hay rack and that's just got the Bob Martin meadow hay inside. I'm actually really impressed with the quality of it. Seeing as it's winter you don't really expect to have really green hay but surprisingly the hay is really green and then Rosie's just demonstrating how she uses her water bottle which is just there because she's a good girl <laughs> and then again as always she has this little kebab with a pumice stone and a bell and then last she has her Burgess XL nugget bowl but there's nothing inside because she's had her breakfast already She's also got her little hidey house down there. I know a lot of people always ask about it. Like, does she go underneath? She does go underneath occasionally. Not all the time. She can fit underneath because she's quite a small See. bunny. <laughs> what are you doing? She did go underneath. I shook him. I shook her Christmas cracker and she went crazy. But she went a bit too far. So she ended up going underneath her hidey house. What are you up to? <laughs> I don't know what she's trying to accomplish. Okay everyone, so that is December's cage and room tour complete for today. Rosie's just hopped up onto her chair. Yeah, this is Rosie's chair. She loves this chair a lot. So I hope you enjoyed I'm really sad that it's the last tour of 2013, but 2014's tours should hopefully be a little bit more interesting. So yeah, next video should hopefully be my big 2013 Christmas pet haul. I have a huge haul in store for you, so make sure to subscribe if you want to view that video. So thank you for watching, and again we hope you enjoyed and we'll see you again soon. Say bye, Rosie. Yeah, she says bye. Bye, everyone. <laughs>